Hey guys, it's Collector Sleuth here, and today I have some Nightmare Before Christmas Inesco products, a Jim Shore and Disney Showcase, plus um, a cookie jar. And we'll start with the Disney Showcase. So we got a little zero here. I thought these were going to be Couture de Force, but it doesn't say that they are, so... Um, it guess looks like they'll go really well with with those pieces though so and these are new for 2022 this is kind of nice in that this one has a picture window where if you wanted to leave him in the box to display you could um, but the other piece isn't like that, so. So he's this really nice glossy, um, almost has like a, a gold hue to it. Figurine here with the little jack-o'-lantern nose. He's really cute. Got a little glittery collar there. Um, could have lived without the glitter, but it is really cute. That's why I thought maybe it was a Coach Force thing because of the little blingy uh, collar and also the, the paint looking kind of um, having that gold tone to it. Makes it look a little fancier. And then I also have, let's move him just aside for a second, Santa Jack. And this looks like a Couture de Force piece to me, but it, it would say so if it was. So, um, So here is Santa Jack. I kind of wish it would have made his bag a little bit of a different color. Uh, blends into his suit. Um, got the black boots there. Cute little cotton on the ends of his coattails. And they made his sleeves like a three-quarter three quarter length sleeves. Um, I th I'm not a huge fan of that. I would rather they just brought it all the way up to here. Um, but, you know, I, that's why I thought maybe this was a Code 30 Force piece, because it's, uh, not film accurate. It looks a little bit fancy with the, uh, the cotton on the end of the little poof balls on the end of his coattails, and also the buttons on his jacket, and giving him a three-quarter length sleeve. Um, with the, and also the holly in the hat. But it doesn't say that it's Code 30 Force, so, and here's the bottom. There it goes. It just, just says Disney Showcase on it, so. But otherwise, a really nice figurine. Got the little gifts here in the bag. This little snake thing. See that little sneaky guy? Scary Teddy. And Jack's face looks pretty decent on this one. Oh, let's put them together. Been cute maybe if they put, you know, gave Zero a, a little candy cane in his mouth or something to kind of give him a Christmas um, theme as well since they kind of go together. Very cute. And now I'm going to move on to the uh, Jim Shore pieces. This one is Jack Skellington, and it's called The Pumpkin King. Let's hope it's in good shape, because you never know. This has never been opened. Um, so, I was hoping it got here okay.
So here is Jack. This one has a nice and solid feel to it, the Pumpkin King. All right. Um, this base kind of, I don't know, just reminds me of brains. It just looks like like brains. Um, I do like the, the tombstone. I think it's really cute. The, the purple and the blue. I don't know why Jack's bow tie is like so huge. Um, his head is pretty big too to scale with the rest of his body. I think his head looks pretty big. Um, his mouth does wrap all the way to the back. And I like I like the shadowing of the eyes though. That's pretty cool. Um, I do get a paint flaw looks like right here. And they added some brown and stuff to his hands to kind of give it a little more realistic look to it. Um, there's just coattails in the back, but no uh, white striping, unfortunately. Uh, sometimes they'll, white, they'll put the white stripes on there. Um, I think his head and bat bow tie look a little bit on the big side. Um, I don't know if they're doing that for breakage issues. I mean, the smaller and, and thinner the pieces are, the more likely they are to break. Uh, this pumpkin does not look to me like a uh, Nightmare of Christmas style pumpkin. Um, it's kind of cute, though. I mean, kind of different style there. I think its mouth is open there. And so uh, there is that one. And the Sally is a matching one, so we'll grab her real quick. And here she is. So same kind of base here, sitting on a tombstone as well, holding a black cat. I think this one's looking up at her, yeah. And here is her face. It's just kind of um, in a down position. It makes it a little harder to see, but, and her hair is flowing back behind her there. Her tombstone's nice and thick. A little bit of... sticky in her hair. Lots of detail to the hair there. Let's take that off. Okay, so anyway, I did grab my um, other Sally from Jim Shore. Um, the first one he did, actually. Let's see if there's a year on it. Let's see a year, but um, I can't remember when the first one came out, but it's been a while ago now. Okay, but they're very similar in design. So that's why I brought it out so you can kind of um, compare the two. Uh, same kind of flowing hair, uh, cat, but not looking up at her. Um, the legs are slightly different, but they still have them one foot out, one foot back. Sitting on a tombstone. She's got like um, bottles and a sewing machine down here versus this... Uh, kind of brain looking uh, base here. Um, to be honest, I, I like this one better. Uh, I think the pink on here is a little bit bright. Um, her eyes are huge on this one. Um, or at least they, they appear that way. And I think her face on this one looks a little bit nicer. And uh, you can see her hair too. Still, you know, a lot of texture and depth to the hair. Very similar coloring on the tombstones. The, the pink and the blue and the yellow. Um, so, I mean, it's just, you know, which one you prefer. The, the older one is a little bit smaller. But um, they are very similar. So, just, uh, she's turned kind of this way and she's going this way. So, But enough, enough difference that it was worth getting both of them, so. She's heavy. These older ones are heavy. So let's put her and Jack together here. It's a very nice set. I think these retail for around $80 a piece. 
um, you know, like anything else, Jim Shore products are a little bit more expensive than, than what they used to be. I think a figuring this size back, you know, a few years ago would have been around 60. Um, these were, I think, around 80. Um, I think I got them around like 10% off or whatever through fun.com. And so um, probably paid around $70 each for them. So there are those. And now for the cookie jar. Now this cookie jar, usually um, the Nesco cookie jars, I'm usually not really all that impressed with. But this one looks really cool. This is the uh, town hall. So let's see how well this one turned out. Last year, I think, was the Zero with his, in his doghouse. And I wasn't really impressed with that one. I do have it. Um, I got it on sale, so I went ahead and picked it up. And the Iggy Boogie one from the year prior, I wasn't all that impressed with either. And I also got it on sale. I was not paying full price for those. But this one, I did pay. Um, retail on this is also $80. And through fun.com, I got about 10% off. Um, okay, let's hope this got here okay. Mm. Oh yeah, this is cool. Let's see what you look like. It's smaller than I expected though. clock on this. Disney Auctions back in the day made a um, town hall cookie jar that's got like figures around it. Um, it's also really nice. Um, so there is another town hall cookie jar out there. But this one I think I like better as far as like the way that the town hall looks. And we got you know the Halloween banner through here. Got the clock up here with the days to Christmas left. Um, so, I mean, not a whole lot going on with it, just so that it looks like the town hall. Like a solid gray cookie jar here, with all the brickwork. Oh, they got the bricks poking out. How cool is that? That one's kind of recessed quite a bit. <laughs> And it's, you know, about your average size of a cookie jar. Um, Some cookie jars will put like um, a uh, rubber type fitting around the top of the jar around here. I don't know if that's to help it seal better or if it um, prevents chipping. But usually those stinking seals are more annoying than, than they're worth having anyway. So this one does not have one of those. Just wanted to point that out. Unlike the uh, the Jack the Santa Jack head cookie jar I showed in a previous video had that a rubber seal around it. Anyway, guys, that's the last item. Um, I will be posting more videos. I do have some more items to show you. And uh, keep checking back. And please subscribe.